This episode is sponsored by HealthWithDroneTech.com. Studies show that the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. If you're over 40, that should terrify you. Collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. If you're seeing more defined wrinkles or feeling lethargic, realize it has nothing to do with your diet, sleep schedule, workout routine, or whether you smoke or drink. It has all to do with your body's natural collagen production. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Learn more by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com. Furthermore, you'll get 51% off your first bottle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. Doesn't former President Trump shoulder some of the blame in all of this? He cut this deal with the Taliban. Of course, Biden embraced it, and you and other uh, Republicans up on Capitol Hill uh, we're applauding this pullout of Afghanistan uh, months ago, the plans for it months ago. Uh, what do you what do you say now? No, 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 no. Is Trump in charge? Did Biden get rid of Trump's plans after he got rid of all the other Trump policies? Did he threaten to bomb the Taliban if they touched any of our equipment or harmed any of our citizens? No, no, no. Biden just ran away, armed the Taliban with modern weaponry and vehicles, and left behind tens of thousands of American civilians who are now Taliban hostages. Notice how Acosta pretends here that Biden didn't just admit that we're putting all of our trust in the Taliban not to harm our citizens. So far, the Taliban has not taken action against U.S. forces. So far, they have, by and large, followed through on what they said in terms of allowing Americans to pass through and the like. Do you trust them now that you have to negotiate with them? I don't trust anybody, including you. I love you. But, you know, there's not a lot of people I trust. How in the world is that Trump's fault? You know, we got to this place because the media refused to scrutinize anything Biden says or does. And now they're just doubling down on that policy. We could go through the list of failures to make Afghanistan into a functional state. But starting in January, President Biden, to his credit, uh, has reversed every single policy of President Donald Trump. Under President Trump, every time the Taliban violated uh, their agreement, they got bombed. They got attacked. That stopped. The idea of pulling out and, and taking away the assets that were, would allow reprisals was not Donald Trump's. That was, in fact, this, this administration. Uh, wasn't President Biden essentially dealing with the same people that, that uh, Donald Trump was dealing with when he was president? Well, you don't get to have it both ways. You don't get to say that you're reversing every mistake of Trump and then picking this one as the one that you blame on Trump because you say you didn't reverse it. A man that looks like a weasel, that's fucking it. You gonna do? You gonna stand up and do some? You sit down and shut your fucking mouth. Lastly, I want to show you this exchange about Larry Elder. And if you're not familiar with him, he's a black conservative radio host who's running for governor in California and who's looking like the strongest contender against the Democrat failure, Gavin Newsom. And again, the playbook is obvious here: Acosta doing what Democrat media always does: circle the wagons and defend the Democrat, smear and demonize the Republican. Uh, right now, the Republican front runner is an outspoken. A talk show host named Larry Elder. He's made a number of disparaging remarks about women. I want to ask. I want you to listen to this. Let me ask you about this on the other side. When you look at all these women that have marched, something like two million women. Donald Trump has probably gotten more obese women off the couch and in the streets working out than Michelle Obama did in eight years. Do you think Larry Elder should be the next governor of California? Yeah, that's a joke, Acosta. And you'll notice that Larry Elder wasn't talking about all women like Acosta claims. He was talking about fat Democrat women. I think Larry Elder, with uh, tens of thousands of hours on the air, uh, entertaining and uh, thought-provoking, uh, if that's the yeah, most that's not entertaining, find, that's I, that's disgusting. It, what he it, just said is disgusting. I mean, that's well, not I, entertaining. I appreciate I appreciate Jim. You're saying it's disgusting. That certainly was was by most people's standards. A, a quip of a radio talk show person. You gonna do, you gonna stand up and do some? You sit down and shut your fucking mouth. In tens of thousands of hours, if that's the best you have, you don't really have anything on Larry Elder. Oh, there's lots of other material, as you know, Congressman. We don't have time to go through all of it, but... Uh...
I just love Acosta's theatrical performance here, clutching his pearls and calling it disgusting. I mean, really? That's all you got? And remember, California's Secretary of State actually tried to keep Larry Elder from being able to run for governor. He filed all the correct paperwork and they still denied him. He actually had to sue Shirley Weber, who's the Secretary of State, to get on the list of candidates. I mean, could you imagine for a moment that this was a black Democrat they were doing this to, especially the popular frontrunner? It would be a national news story. So now that it's looking like Elder's gonna be the Democrat, the media is scrambling and doing their best to smear him ahead of the election. All right, folks, that's all for this one. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.